I'm currently hyperventilating. Um, hello. Good morning. We are at the Goodwill Bins. Um, this is going to be my monthly trip. April, it's a very busy month. So it is actually a Monday. I just happened to have the day off because I was on call all weekend. So when you're on call all weekend, you get the Monday off as a rest day and I refuse to rest <laughs> um so I just drove two hours out to come to the Goodwill Bins I've been listening to very positive music trying to manifest all the good finds so I have a feeling it's going to be a great day it is packed out here and I am 35 minutes late to opening so they probably just put out another set of bins so I'm going to get in there but if you don't know me my name is Kennedy and I just love shopping secondhand and doing all the good sustainable fashion things so um today that's what we're doing we're going to the bins and if you don't know what the bins are essentially it's just a bunch of blue bins with um donations that either didn't sell at a regular goodwill store or was just like overflow at a goodwill store and you just kind of dig in these bins and look for the good stuff um i'll show you a little bit more when we get inside but um yeah let's let's do this thing <laughs> And we are switching into voiceover. I'm just trying to show you the things I found within the first hour of me being there. Are you kidding? This shirt, I still can't get over it. Uh, I have a story time about this later. I will tell you guys in the car. But, oh my goodness, I'm not even a t-shirt girl. I hardly ever pick up t-shirts. But in the bins, it's easier to quote-unquote look for them. It's from 2001. Um, because they're just like in your face. So if you see it, you grab it. You know what I mean? I prefer doing that than going through racks of like thousands of t-shirts. I just can't. Anyway, I'm showing you the rest of the things that I found within that first hour. Um, I think I had done about two rotations, maybe three. The way the bins works at my location, they rotate out every like 20 to 30 minutes. They'll, they'll rotate like three or four bins, so it actually moves pretty quick. Um, anyway, lace is in. Spoiler, I did not get that white lace little slip because um, it had two holes in it, so hope you didn't like that one too much and i hope you don't like this one too much because this is mine i've already worn it <laughs> i love it so much um i thought this denim shirt was really cute and it's super lightweight so for a little cowgirl moment i thought it would be perfect this is really simple but the graphic on the front really sold me i was like i have to have this anyway off to a great start um this is what the bins looks like at this location this for some reason this angle is making it look really big but i promise you it's a pretty small location very calm cool and collected everything's priced by the pound here it's a dollar 69 um i did see these boots i really like them i considered getting them but they were honestly feeling very cheap this was so cute i did end up getting this um this little teapot candle i don't know it's just gonna be decoration but i thought it was cute a little fit check you know what i mean nothing too crazy today <laughs> Um, then I was saying bye to my cart because I was going to get lunch and tell you a story. So, see you in a second. Hello, friends. Um, I'm taking a little snack break. I don't know if you guys ever go to Tzatziki's. I mean, oh my god. If you ever go to Publix. But this little Tzatziki thing I found in there the other day. The snack was so good. I ate it so fast. Um, now I'm eating some blueberries. They're switching out the books and, like, homeware stuff. And I don't ever go through that. So, I figured now was a good time to, like come out here and refuel um so far we've been at three hours and i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 i know very high rating so far for the day but honestly after i found that t-shirt that jeff gordon t-shirt i could have left and the whole day would have been worth it driving my two hours would have been worth it right there and there um i've had multiple people try to buy that off of me already which is just so funny to me. But that's why I like going in and like my mask and my like whatever outfit. Because every other person in here, you can tell immediately that they're a reseller. Me? No. I fly under the radar and that's the way I like it. And people don't see me as a threat. They don't think I'm in here looking for anything. But I am. I've had three boys try to lowball me. Then they sent over one of their girls to come try and get it off of me. Please, no. Like... <laughs> I don't think so. So, um, my ego's through the roof. 
and I'm really happy with my finds. I'm finding a lot of really cute stuff. A lot of good stuff in my market, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna finish this bag and then we'll get back in there. All right, peace. All right, I got back in there and decided to just go ahead and browse through the bins that they put out while I was gone. They had this purse in there, actually really cute. Love the color, the shape, the design, all of that, but that strap was just going, going, gone. So I left it. Um, here they are just bringing out another bin. I was not ready to get into the deep of that. You see all the bins boys doing their thing. So I just waited until they were done to go look through it. I did find it this super cute cardigan. I have one exactly like this, but in brown on my Depop if you're interested. Um, but it feels very fall, so I left it. I saw this leather jacket. Loved it. Again, we're kind of moving into spring, so I did leave it. But inside was this sonogram from 2011. Like this kid is a whole teenager now. I kind of want to see where they are and uh, how they look now <laughs> now that i've seen how they looked while they were in the womb um anyway put it back nice and safely i don't know where those candies came from they really just like popped up <laughs> in my basket but for those of you who have also never been to the bins this is how it's set up there are these lines you have to stand behind while they bring the bins out you have to wait there until they say go once they say go they'll pull the little thing back and then you can actually shop but you do have to wait behind the lines otherwise they will not let you shop um in that rotation didn't really see much it was like a lot of little kids clothes i thought these were jinko jeans but they're not they're actually jordash i think that's how you say it um very cute i also saw this i don't know i had a vision for it for myself because i love going to the zoo um but i don't think it's gonna fit me these belts were everywhere but unfortunately they were all disintegrating i apparently have an inner horse girl because i love that bag did end up leaving it though um some more of those belts that i saw better condition but still not worth getting i liked this mermaid bag but honestly that little strap being broken ruined it for me could i probably get it fixed yes but it, it just you know what i mean wasn't worth it so i did throw it back i think throw it back throw it back <laughs> Okay, thank you, Kennedy. Good news. Um, moving on another rotation to bring me some more clothes. Here we are. This is the only thing I found in this rotation. Not a bad thing at all. Um, polo sport is always a fun time to find. This was something that I wasn't sure if it was like a dress or if it was like a skirt with a big um, like waistband, kind of like they have on yoga pants. I wasn't really sure, so I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to get it or not. I did end up finding another black velvet skirt that I liked more, so I ended up getting that one and leaving this one. Um, why was this dog in here? I don't know, but it was like the cutest little thing. She had food, water, bows. Oh my God, these shoes? These shoes. Oh, I was shook. I thought they were gonna be Doc Martin, but it's so much better. Anyway, had to cop. Then I was just going through everything and trying to decide what I'm getting, what I'm not getting. I did end up getting just about everything that I had put in my cart. I do a pretty good job about eliminating as I go. Anyway, waiting to weigh my cart. And this is how much my um, basket weighed, how much I paid, and we are headed out and headed home. <laughs> we are back at home. I had a really good day. Um, I'm losing sunlight, so I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly, but I'm so excited to show you everything that I ended up with. I have shown you some of the pieces, but we need a full haul, you know what I mean? Um, so let's start with this. It was just on top, but it's like a vintage, like old navy, just workwear jacket. I really liked how faded it was. And then it does have like that corduroy kind of collar detail. Very cute. Um, okay, I'm not starting with the best stuff. I did not mean to do this intentionally. I swear I had a good day. You guys saw the earlier clips. Um, I have this like baby blue little Carhartt sweatshirt. It is modern, but I just like a good hoodie and it's really soft inside. I don't think anybody's worn it or washed it, so that's why I got it. What is this? Okay, so here is this Polo Sport um, quarter zip little sweatshirt situation. Also got this shirt. Just redneck cafe i just like the graphic and again how faded it was always good sleep shirts you know what i mean um and then i got this cute little scarf this was probably one of my favorite finds of the day i don't know if i showed you earlier but it is one of these like big circle belts these have been so popular and on trend a lot of girls have been like wearing them over like big skirts or even like flared jeans and they've just been taking it and kind of like click go in there you go they've been kind of layering it and having it sit kind of like this 
I'll put like an inspo pic right here so you see the vision because this shirt is not giving. Um, but I was so happy to find this because I have been kind of keeping my eye out for it. And it does kind of go with like the 70s and Western wear kind of look and aesthetic that I really love. So I was so stoked to find this. Um, also got this cute little denim baby doll top. It is a plus size piece, which as you guys know, I've been trying to keep up with um, for my markets coming up. Then I just got these Gap, like vintage Gap flare little sweatpants situations. I love having just something to hang around in, you know what I mean? So got these. Then I got this leather shirt. Um, let me see if I can kind of put it on. Does it even fit me? That's a definite no, which is so unfortunate. Okay, this is entirely too tight. And I, I'm holding back tears as we speak because I was really hoping to keep this for the personal. It says a size eight, but like eight should be like a medium, but this is fitting like a small. My arms are not fitting. Okay, but it does, it's like a wraparound top. There's no good way to show you this, but it has these little tie situations. You guys have seen tops like this where you like wrap it and tie it in the back and it's got like this nice V almost kimono style top. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I can't show you. <laughs> I almost saved the best one. I mean, I almost uh, showed you the best piece on accident. Okay, going back to something kind of mid, um, I did get these denim shorts. They're by the brand Utility, and that's kind of the vibe that they're getting or uh, giving. So there's some denim cargos. I did end up getting this vest. I thought maybe I could wear it with like a little tube top underneath. I thought it would be kind of cute, but it might be entirely too tiny and we'll have to go with my kids collection. We'll see. Speaking of my kids collection, I did find these jeans and originally I thought they were like Jinkos, um, but they are not Jinkos. They are actually by, is it Jordache or Jordachi? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that one, um, but it just has a really cool pattern going down the side. I love the patch in the back, so. My future kid will be swaggy. Um, crochet has been huge and we're moving into spring and summer and this is a great way to add layering to your outfit. So I did pick up this little cardigan situation, going back to kind of that 60s, 70s style. This with a little tank top underneath, some flared jeans or some high-waisted shorts and some boots, very cute, you know what I mean? That's the vision I'm seeing with this. Sticking on that kind of boho, like 70s style, here we go again with this pattern top that again ties in the front and look at those sleeves. I think this is gonna be too big for me and that is just honestly a crime. It's a crime. <laughs> Sticking with that theme one more time, um, I did get this shirt. I, I have mixed feelings about it. Like I see the vision um, it does have flares on like the sleeve and I love the little tassels, you know what I mean? Perfect for Pride Month that's coming up in June. I don't know. I'm definitely selling it. I thought about keeping it at one point, but honestly, the more I look at it, the more I start to not really like it for myself. But I know someone's going to love this, so I will be selling this. Anywho, I also got this little vintage Utah shirts from like 86 or something. Single stitch, man, USA. Nothing too crazy. Um, I did get this swimsuit. I almost got another swimsuit, but honestly it was doing too much, so I didn't get it. Um, but I got this little swimsuit top. I think I showed this one earlier. Very cute. Um, it's like a, I don't know, it crosses at some point. Can you see that? There we go, and it's got like a little keyhole detail. Um, it would be cute to kind of like cut that out. It's a swimsuit, so, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you're going for more modest, don't cut it out, but I think it could be really cute if you did kind of cut that brown piece out and just have it kind of showing your belly button. Um, and it does have a bow in there, but it's kind of hidden. Anywho, love the colors, love the vibes. So I did scoop this one. Um, I got this. I think it's three quarter sleeves, which I didn't really realize until 
approximately right now. <laughs> I thought this was like a long sleeve shirt. Three quarter sleeves, people don't really like it. But a lot of like the older styles do have three quarter sleeves. So I don't really know what the vibe is. Every Like a lot of trends have come back, but three quarter sleeves is not it. So we'll see if this one sells. So I honestly just like the print. And then I loved the details on the front, which is why I got it. This was kind of a wild card. Um, I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to get it or not, but I ended up getting it clearly. It is a dress. And I just thought it could be really flattering with the way that the pattern kind of goes um, towards the waist. Let me see if I can hold this. But like right here, it almost, there's not, I don't know how to describe it, but you, you see it, okay? And it's really flowy. I thought it'd be good for, um, where are we moving? Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, we're moving into spring and summer and I have like weddings and events to, that are coming up. So it's modest, but still really cute. And it does have a pretty low V so it can still be sexy um, at the same time. So here she is. Also picked up this top. It's a linen shirt and I just liked the little graphics on the front very cute and then it also has a tie detail in the back to make it more cinched on your body what else i also got this little vintage swimsuit top it is a plus size but i love the color so couldn't pass it up also got this skirt which i almost didn't there's another skirt that i was considering as well and i was like either you're getting this velvet skirt or you're getting the other one pick one because we're moving into spring and summer and we don't need like black velvet right now that's just not that's not the move so um i did end up getting this one just because it has a slit on the side i don't know if you can really tell and it has a really cool almost floral or like fountain detail on the bottom um and i just thought this was a little bit more interesting so i picked this up I am not entirely sure what this is, if I'm being honest. Um, it's like this little lacy, I found it in the homeware section, so I honestly think it might be like a tablecloth or something. Can you see me? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm so distracted. But it's this little lacy moment, and I know like see-through and lace and mesh have been really popular, and it's only gonna get more popular as we move into spring and summer. So I thought it would be cute to kind of wear like, I don't know, either wear it as a shawl, you know what I mean? Like one of those situations, or wear it like a wrap skirt or something. Obviously with not this, but like in the summer with like your swimsuit and just like tie it on the side. And then you would have this obvious slit here. Your swimsuit bottoms would show because it's sheer. Um, I don't know. I thought this would be something. I'm gonna experiment with this, so we'll, we'll see. Um, also got this cute little bandana like mini mini in what world is this mini um midi okay <laughs> midi slash maxi skirt i guess depending on how tall you are for me it comes down to my ankles so i guess that's borderline maxi um but it's just this little bandana print and it has the little slit situation so you can walk so very cute all right moving into my top three favorites we have this one coming in at number three the apple bottom sweatpants i love the color i love like the logo that's sitting right there on the top and these are just so incredibly soft i wish you could feel them through the camera um and they have a bit of a wider leg very slouchy fit so i love they are 2x which is again great because i'm trying to keep up with plus sizes um in the number two slot we have the toque mary james okay um, they're just absolutely incredible. When I saw these, I knew I had to get them. They are a size 11. So they are for someone with a larger foot size, but I could not leave them behind. They were one step away from the landfill and that just wasn't gonna work for me. Even if no one buys them, I will keep them just to look at them because they are absolutely incredible. They have Doc, oh my gosh, they have Doc Martin vibes. And that's honestly what I thought they were uh, when I first saw them. And like no one else picked these up, I guess, cause they thought they were ugly. But I was on the other side of like the bins and I happened to see someone pick them up and put them back down. I think they were just like moving them out of the way. And I made a beeline um, to come see these because 
absolutely incredible. Need I say much more? They have a little scuffing, as you can see, but that's, you can clean that up, okay? These are incredible. All right, and for my number one slot, you guys have probably already guessed it because I haven't shown it yet. Um, and I would have been dumb not to get this piece, but we have the all over print the Jeff Gordon t-shirt. It is from 2001, so it, I mean, 2000, yeah, 2001. I don't know why that sounded funny, but it is from 2001. Okay, get it together, Kennedy. 2001, and it's impeccable, okay? There is not a single rip, not a pinhole, not a stain to be found on this piece. And the colors are so vibrant, I'm, I'm shook, okay? <laughs> I never thought I would find one of these myself, much less at the bins of all locations. But honestly, the bins is a magical place, and I cannot reiterate that enough. Um, I love going there. I really do. And I hate that I can only go once a month, but it makes the trip that much more special when I don't get to go very often. And I've got, like, one shot to have a good day, and every single time... That location comes through um i will link the video up here to the other time that i went and i found an amazing t-shirt i found a sound garden tee from the 90s i'm about to fall out just thinking about it um should i show it to you guys i have it right over there i'm gonna show you let me show you. <laughs> okay so here is the sound garden tee that i found like in the fall um <laughs> at that location as well ah oh, it deserves another moment on this channel anyway it's perfect freaking perfect there are like two pinholes but it's beautifully worn in it's faded it's so soft i mean wow wow and then one more time for jeff gordon okay okay hold on let's look boom baby oh I love that location with my whole heart. I mean, two bangers, two bangers, okay? I'm talking about holy grail type bangers. At a little, at a little town in, in Georgia. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Um, whoo, got my <laughs> heart rate up. So excited about those pieces. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me because I know I had fun hanging out with you guys. Um, if you are interested in going to a location like that, the Goodwill Bins, um, type in Goodwill Outlets near me in Google. If you, if you type in bins, it doesn't always pull something up because um, the official name is Goodwill Outlet. Um, and it should bring up locations near you. You might have to drive a little bit. I have to drive two hours to go to this location. Um, the other one closest to me, I have to drive two hours in the other direction to go another location, but I typically have a great day like I had here. I will actually link a playlist to all my bins videos. If you're interested in bins videos, I will link that at the end. Um, but like I said, if you want to go, just look up Goodwill outlets in your area on Google. It should pull some stuff up. Um, and I definitely think it's worth a shot. It can be a little intimidating. It can. Um, but once you kind of get in there and you see how things work, it's not that bad, I promise. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe. As you can see, we have a lot of fun on this channel and we are finding all the treasures out there. <laughs> um, so if you're into this, thrifting, sustainable fashion, all that good stuff, um, vintage reselling, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you don't want to subscribe off this video, um, watch one of my other ones and give me a second chance because I swear we have a great time and you won't regret subscribing. So definitely do that so we can hang out again next week for those of you already subscribed. I love you guys so, so much and I hope you live a happy, beautiful, wonderful life until we meet again. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a good one. Oh gosh, I need to get off of here. Bye. <laughs>